I have a YouTube channel. I go to haunted locations. I speak to spirits. I help some of them pass over. Something I've noticed recently is a huge increase in people experiencing sleep paralysis or sleep demons. Are you guys recording that? Guys, trytreats.com, discount code. Ah. Today's video is brought to you by trytreats. Trytreats.com slash subscribe. Use discount code LEH15 for 15% off. We're about to try this box. We don't know where it's from. Hey, why do you need an egg when you got teeth? Scissors in the way. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Sweden? Denmark? So edit this so you pretend like you- Poland! It's Polish! We got Polish snacks! I knew that. Okay. Poland is. This box looks good. We got, as usual, you get the postcard with tons of fun facts about Poland. And then we got Polish recipes right here. And you can explore Poland with tri treats. Surprising. Okay, let's try these. Nice and easy. These are pretzels. These are pretzel sticks. They are called Poluski by Lajkanaki. Okay. They are crispy salt sticks. Uh, they're made from a traditional recipe and a traditional baking process is producing uh, poloskito. As a result, these snacks contain a relatively low calorie content. Pretzels. Pretzels. Anki to go. It's a sesame honey snack. A healthy alternative loaded with extra thin, super crunchy, and carefully selected honey roasted sesame seeds. Okay, also guys, twitch.tv slash gi24. Thank you. Mm. Okay, that's all good. Not bad. Supposedly it'll melt in your mouth. Yeah, because I'm gonna wait that long. Oh, oh gooey. What's inside it? Um, it doesn't say what's inside it, but it's delicious. I eat gingerbread. Gingerbread cookies made from traditional Sigur recipe by Kopernik Sekera, a company that has been one of the leading Polish gingerbread producers since 1763. Oh my god, that's really good. Is it? No. Oh. That's not. Nice. Femalagin Cream Waffers by Jatzenka. Crispy thick waffers with delicious vanilla flavored cream. They're produced by... Wafers. What did I say? Waffers. <laughs> wafers. One of the most leading Polish brands for wafer biscuits. Ooh. Ooh. I love these. Really good. Just like, oh, what's it called? Wafer? Wafer. Have you never had a wafer before? I just call them whoppers. Like a whopper? Yeah, you're saying it, it's not a word. This is incredible. Thank you, Tri Treats. TriTreats.com slash subscribe. Use discount code LEH15 for your box. This is delicious. How do you like it? I would it? recommend it 100%. Absolutely. That was really good. Wow. Thank you, Tri Treats. And now back to today's video. Well, thank you for having me. I got you, Jado. Oh, by the way, don't forget twitch.tv slash jad24. We stream every Friday. Love you guys. Milo, man, stop, stop. Milo, stop. I'm, Max, guys, please stop. I'm, no, no photos, please. No, guys, I'm not giving you autographs. We live together. It's weird. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you guys there. Yeah, I just watched my first episode of a TV show. It was pretty gangster. We had a mini little watch party with our friends. It was and my beautiful wife. so cool. Allie is the coolest guy I know. Ah, yeah, guys, it was really freaking cool. I really hope you guys had a chance to watch it. It if was you, an amazing episode. Yeah, it was, it was nuts. It was so cool to see myself on TV. It was so cool to go relive uh, my first time being on set. And oh, it was so much fun. I had. That was so cool. That was so cool. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, the, the link to the episode is going to be in the links in the description below. It's going to be the Sleep Demon episode on the CW's Mysteries Decoded. Oh man, that was so cool. We have been waiting to see that since May of 2021. And the, when we first started talking to the CW and Morningstar Productions, the, the people that produced the show, um, we started talking in 2020, so we've been waiting for this for two years. Two years I've been waiting for this, and it's exactly what I wanted, and I'm so happy. 
and I'm, I'm dancing, I'm excited. Uh, these guys won't stop hounding me for photos and autographs. <laughs> Milo is, is, is just, he wants to go to school and tell all his friends. Yeah, 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 you'll get an autograph, buddy. The cat, um, he's not as impressed. He's actually kind of upset with me because um, I didn't tell him I was filming a TV show and he's very religious. So, you know, it is what it is though. Who? Yeah, like over the cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's religious. <laughs> Milo, seriously, dude. I, I can't give you an autograph, man. I know you're just going to sell it. I know you're just going to sell it. Oh, buddy. I missed you too, even though we've been together all day. All right, bud. You're a good boy. My dogs are the cutest, and my wife is the prettiest, and I got to be on TV, so everything is pretty cool. Wow, guys, I just wanna say, like seriously, I wouldn't have been able to do this if it wasn't for you guys. So genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, I really, truly attribute all of my success to you guys, and I wouldn't be where I am without you guys, so honestly, thank you guys so much for changing my life for the best, and I appreciate it. Mwah. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, baby. Mwah. And. Kovu is trying to say hi to you guys and thank you for guys for helping this make my literal dreams become a reality. You guys are the fucking best. <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to record while we were watching, but I didn't know if I would get like a copyright strike or something like that, so I didn't. Um, although, yo, the house looks so cool with this lens. Babe, come see how cool our house looks with this lens. She busy. Um, damn. It's showing the house in a new light. I dig it. I dig it. Anyways, uh, it's pretty late and I have to go to bed and I have to go pray. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. What's up, guys? So we're about to talk about something that I've really wanted to talk about for a long, long time. But I haven't really been able to talk about it um, because of the TV show. So I've, I've wanted to talk about this and like... 2020 early 2019 when things started to, to happen um, but then I got involved with the TV show and I couldn't talk about it because of NDA stuff because you know we're talking about it on the show so they didn't want me to make a YouTube video about it so I had to keep it to myself which is really hard uh, especially because it's so involved with what we do we do on this channel with all the things that we experience on this channel it's been going on since my my first condo that I had, my last apartment, when all that crazy stuff was happening at that apartment, which has continued to still happen to me here at this apartment, and so has the sleep stuff that we're gonna talk about. So I've been experiencing sleep paralysis, sleep demons, which is what the entire episode was about, which is why we we got together and we, we discussed and did the episode. I have really bad sleep paralysis, sleep demons, high school, and now will we're, we're, we're probably be the, the peaks. Like I, I've experienced it my entire life, but high school was when it was really, really bad. Um, and then when we moved into the other condo, my last condo, it got a lot worse, which led us um, into the TV show and then wanted to talk about it there, da 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 da. It's something that really started to pick up again in late 2019, early 2020, which coincidentally, which I don't think is a coincidence, lined up with the crazy stuff that was happening at my condo. We had all that crazy stuff happening in the condo and then, well, and that was when I was awake. And then when I was asleep, I had all these other things happening to me, which was just absolutely terrifying, very scary, would not wish it on anybody. Um, and I'll dive into what I was experiencing and I'll tell you guys it firsthand. I've talked about my dreams and my nightmares that I've had before, um, but these are completely different. My sleep paralysis episodes, um, sleep demons, uh, they are something that are just, it's, it's real. It's like real, like when, when it's happening to you, you're awake. In your in your mind and it, and and in reality you're awake but you're still asleep so you're seeing hallucinations while you're awake like I'm awake I'm aware of everything that's happening but you're you're awake your eyes are awake you can see everything that's going on but you cannot move and then you start to have these hallucinations uh, and mine in particular are about this woman um, who is standing at the end of my room usually uh, sometimes she's at the foot of the bed Sometimes she's in the corner of the room. Um, I've experienced her in this house. I've experienced her in the condo um, and at my mom's house. 
So this is something that's really traveled with me, something that I've had since I was a child, something that has, has kind of just been a part of my life. And I also had it while on the TV show, while they were doing a sleep experiment, but we'll get into that later. Um, the woman that I see usually slowly comes closer to me. She has different movement patterns, but typically she, she makes her way to me slowly and I'm watching her the entire time and it's this, this shadowy figure of a woman, uh, you know, inching closer and closer to you until she's like either face to face with you. Like, like imagine a demonic woman face to face with you sitting on your chest, lying down at you, you're covered, just absolutely covered in her hair. Like she's got this long, scary, wiry hair and it's just covering you and you're face to face with her and then she just lets out the most blood curdling scream that you've ever heard. And it is absolutely petrifying. In fact, you guys um, have heard it before. Uh, it's very, very similar to some of the screams that we've heard in my videos. Sometimes the security camera catches screaming waking me up or screaming in the basement as of recently. Um, that's, that's pretty similar to what it sounds like, but right beside my ear. And I'm seeing her do it. And it is the most terrifying thing. I would never wish it on anybody. It is absolutely like a horrible experience. Other, other times she does try to, to choke me. Um, I don't know what the end game about it is. So the, the show did try to help me figure out what was going on. Um, so they did a sleep study on me and you guys can see my results on the show and I'll leave the link in the description where you guys can watch the show uh, yourself um, and it's free. So yeah, they, they tried to figure out uh, what was going on. So they put me in a sleep study. Um, they, they got my results. So they gave my results to a doctor, a neurologist, I think. And he went over the results with us and told us like you experienced sleep paralysis while you're doing the study. And I got to tell them what my dream was because I did have a nightmare while that was going on. Um, and again, it was, it was absolutely terrifying. Um, every single time it's happened, like it, it, it's been terrifying. Um, but the fact that we were able to get it on camera and have the results told to us by a doctor and having him confirm it for me or confirm what, what I was saying is true. Cause you feel like a crazy person, man. You feel like a crazy person. Um, and I woke up and I told him like, guys, I, I experienced something. And they're like, well, what? Like, that's crazy. Let's, let's check the results. And then like the, the, the sleep study dude told us like, yeah, he has sleep paralysis here. But then we also had a doctor confirm it, which is just wild. Like it, it, the, 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 the stars couldn't have aligned any better. Uh, it was just absolutely insane. So yeah, this is, this is, something that I've really wanted to share with you guys over the years, especially because it lined up with what was going on at my condo and at this house. Um, but I couldn't tell you guys it because of the NDA and whatnot. So I'm, I'm happy I finally get to share this stuff with you guys. Um, personally, I think it is possible that the sleep demon um, was using my weakened state, my weakened mental and physical state um, from, from what I was dealing with in my houses at the time and still now to this day. I think it was using my weaknesses as its opportunity to take advantage of me and get back into the shenanigans that it was doing, right? Like, and there's no way that this would have lined up so well with what was happening at my house and the demons and the ghosts that we've been experiencing without her kind of taking advantage of the situation. And I think she did, um, which is why I'm experiencing so much more now. If you guys have noticed in my videos, like I'll get a lot of comments um, like Ali, like you don't look like you're sleeping well. Like why are the bags under your eyes so bad? Like why aren't you sleeping? Take some rest, go to sleep. It's because I experience this stuff regularly. Like I can sleep, no problem. I can fall asleep anywhere at any time, not an issue. It's staying asleep that's the issue, right? Because when, when you experience sleep paralysis, sometimes you're awake for hours in the middle of the night and you can't move and all this is happening to you and it's the most horrifying thing on the planet. Um, I get all asked a lot of questions about like, how are you not scared doing some of the videos that you do? How are you so brave? How can you go into a haunted house and do this, that, and the other thing? How can you, how can you go to a cemetery at like two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning and just use a Ouija board and, and experience all that stuff? The reason why I can do that and experience 
that without getting scared, like yeah, things that pop up and, and yell in my face and stuff like that, yeah, those things are gonna scare me. But the bravery that I have to, to be able to do those things, that's because of the stuff I experience when I have sleep paralysis. Because if you guys were to see the things that I've seen, you guys would not be afraid of anything else. Because if, if I have to sit there, like seriously, like I'm, I'm lying in my bed, staring at the, the, whatever, because I can't move. So the only thing you can do is like look around the room. You can't turn over. You can't itch your nose. You're, you're seriously paralyzed. Um, and then you just start to see a woman, a woman start to form. And, and out of the shadows, the shadows start to shape. And she gets her figure, her long black hair, her her crooked stance, um, her 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 weird walk. Sometimes she's walking towards me. Sometimes she's straight up floating towards me and just like comes up right to my face like that, and then just yells. And I can't do anything. I can't scream. I can't close my eyes like this. I can hear her breathing in my ear. I can hear her breathing on my face. I can hear her taking the breath of air right before she's about to yell in my face, in my ear, which is the scariest part because as soon as you hear the, you know it's coming. But sometimes she doesn't do it immediately. Sometimes she holds on to it and then fucking yells in your ear, in my ear. Um, and it's 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 something that I've been going through and it's, it's just one of those things that I don't think we understand enough about it to really be able to fix it, right? Like, something that we touched on in the show, uh, and I, I know this is just my experience with sleep demons and, and sleep paralysis, but something that we did touch on in the show is that everybody that has sleep paralysis sees this woman, or they see some form of this woman, or this entity. Who is it? Who is she? And why is she always coming back to me? Why does she reoccur to other people as well? Um, like they're, 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 everyone sees the same thing, which is what's crazy. You know, if I'm experiencing it here in Canada and somebody else in the United States ex is experiencing it and somebody else in the UK is experiencing it and then somebody else in the Middle East and Africa and Asia is experiencing it, but we're all experiencing similar things What's going on there? Like, what is the explanation to that? Um, it, it's just wild. And I personally think that um, the stuff that's been going on around my house and involving me and then the Ouija board and stuff like that, I think that has invoked it and made it stronger uh, just because these things make me weaker, you know? So I think she's been using that to her advantage. And I think um, maybe she's in cahoots with some of the other stuff that's going on here. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, this is just something that I wanted to share with you guys because I've been kind of keeping it, keeping it in for the past couple years, uh, literally two years. So the entire time I was at the condo, this was happening on top of the other stuff that was happening. I just couldn't talk about it with you guys. Uh, and it kills me that I wasn't able to share that part with you guys because it, it, it kind of adds another layer of complexity to everything that we've been experiencing, but also adds a layer of um, kind of sheds new light on the entire situation too, right? Because why was this ha stuff happening at, at such a magnitude, right? And on top of that, you guys already know, when, it, when it's nighttime here and I go to bed, a lot of creepy shit happens. Like when I'm asleep, a lot of creepy shit happens here and we get to capture some, some of it on camera. Um, sometimes the security camera is able to catch things. Um, and a couple of times the security camera has caught the screaming that I've experienced, right? Like, so is there, is there a threshold that she can cross? I don't know, but we have caught the screaming on camera. Um, and if the screaming is so similar to what I've been hearing in my sleep paralysis, uh, sleep demon episodes, well, is, is, is she kind of making her way into our reality and not just taking advantage of me when I'm asleep? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'm so happy I was able to share my sleep demon experiences with you guys. Finally, after two years of just keeping it in, I'm, I'm able to share with you guys. Um, 
And I also, I'm so happy that it was able to be validated by the CW, um, by Mysteries Decoded, by actual doctors, actual um, neurologists, actual sleep study experts were able to validate what I was experiencing. Um, and we had sleep demon experts, we had a shaman um, bless me, literally a shaman blessed me and that wasn't even able to um, stop my sleep paralysis. That's, that's the other thing that's just wild. Sorry, I don't, I, I know I kind of like ended the video there, but we're going to keep going a little bit. The other thing that, that was, that was just absolutely nuts is that we had a shaman, an actual shaman, a spirit guide person. Like she has spirit guides that protect her. She gave me a bracelet to wear. And I wore that bracelet while I was doing my sleep study and it still wasn't enough to stop the sleep paralysis demon, the sleep demon, from approaching me in my dreams and messing my shit up. That's how intense these episodes are for me. Um, and, and, and intense the sleep demon that I've been experiencing is. Like that's how strong it is that it was able to completely break through whatever blessing she had given me and, and it was still able to come in and mess my stuff up and I'm still experiencing it now. Um, and at least now I'll be able to talk about it more with you guys. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.